drones was a hobby for me. 2014, I picked up a drone and flying around in here, and I don't know why, I just grabbed it, it was a toy. But it's had this urge, and my wife was like, are you crazy? I'm like, what are you, like a 40 something year old guy flying these toys? And I really got hooked, like my OCD kicked in and I was flying this thing all over the place. But I did scale up pretty quickly and I was now known as the guy around this neighborhood and this whole township as oh, it's that drone guy, you know, flying around my son's lacrosse games and all that stuff. I worked in pharmaceutical marketing and uh, medical communications and I was a salesperson and really truly not fulfilled. One day woke up and was like, this just can't be it. And drones, the commercial drone industry is mag, it's huge. It's billions and billions of dollars and it's not slowing down. It's changing every industry as we know it. From delivering medicines to helping farmers with data to agriculture, mining, search and rescue, real estate marketing, Hollywood, you name it, there's a good chance a drone is disrupting it in a good way. And so that caught up with me. One of the things that I would always see when I flew my drone, I would turn around and there'd be a gaggle of children. What are you doing? Can I see it? Let me fly it. It was just a phenomena that I was really intrigued by that I said, well, now I have your attention. Isn't this kind of unique? Um, what am I gonna do about that? Once I started thinking about kids and drones, a new world was opened up to me. And I started to see the application in schools and it wasn't unique, people were doing it. But I wanted to put a unique spin on it. Most people were focusing on the tech and I wanted to focus on the kids. Does anybody know what kind of things we can do with drones? Like what, are, what do we use drones uh, for? You could, uh, help people. I had been interested in drones for some time, but worried that the kids would have trouble with them and they would be large and break and be outside. I happened to meet Scott. He showed me his inside drone program and I immediately fell in love with the curriculum. Very hands-on for the students to be able to work with missions that are real world applicable. They see the videos in real time of what's going on with the use of drones and then they can apply that in the classroom itself. So we're using it in eighth grade this year across the district. All three middle schools have a chance to use this program. Go ahead, all right, now, what I want you to do is just pitch it forward with your right stick. The roles in the program are very cool. The kids are either the driver of the drone or the observer, taking notes and working very collaboratively in a team. Each person in a team is, is equally important for the success of something to roll out. So these are all great life skills for the kids to learn. Excellent, whoa, cool. The curriculum comes in numbers of different pieces. This is really the core of it. This is the student mission guide. It's a very student-centered approach to, to learning. We want the students to take ownership of their learning. Gimbal, the artificial intelligence drone, is like, hey, you guys are part of this amazing thing called Drone Legends. We're gonna teach you how to fly. We're gonna do some computer coding with drone blocks. We're even gonna make movies. So let's go, this is gonna be a great adventure. And then Gimbal takes them on a series of missions throughout this entire book. All of our missions are pulled from real world application. If you Google it, a dog in the UK was rescued by a drone who tied a piece of sausage to a string and went into the flatlands and found the dog because the dog saw the sausages. So they rescued a dog. There's a company called Zipline Drones and they did a webinar for us about a year and a half ago. So I'm going to give you a tour of uh, one of the Zipline distribution centers in Ghana. They're using these big, they're called fixed wing drones. So everybody thinks of the drone as the quadcopter, right? With the four thing. Well, they use, they look like airplanes and they deliver life-saving medicines, medical supplies, vaccines to remote areas in Africa and other places around the world where vehicles can't get to efficiently. And these drones can. That was cool. That cool. was really cool. We're approaching 50 schools around the U.S. We have programs running in New Zealand. Great engagement. The kids were coding, learning the language and the vocabulary, pitch and yaw, things I'd never heard of, uh, yeah. learning about safety and drones in New Zealand, and I thought, this is amazing. And you've got the Code Camp people out of Australia. They've licensed in our content and they're running Drone Legends for hundreds of kids in Australia. When we came across Drone Legends, it was a bit of a no-brainer, like we had to bring this to Australia. 30 locations around the country, 
And uh, we'll be looking to ramp that up to 100 plus locations in April. Yes, that's fantastic. Here we are. It truly is a global brand. I knew that I had to create something that could be taught anywhere by almost anyone with the proper training. Oh, Baron, that was excellent. And they feel good about it because they're now bringing this, what we call the magic of drones, to the students in their school, creating little legends all over the place. You slide it and it goes up. The kids today that we're working with, their jobs don't exist today. Artificial intelligence is going to displace people out of work consistently. Part of the program that we teach is failure-based, learning through fail, iteration. You're not always gonna get it right, and that's good, because that's where you learn. Nice, now give it a flip. Anybody? I want these kids to be equipped to deal with that future. And not only deal with it, but to excel in it, to take it head on, to live life and not let life live them.